This is one of multiple videos explaining and demonstrating the packet generation tool Osteonado. In this example, I have a network consisting of a switch. This is an iOS V layer 2 switch with two routers connected to the switch as well as two Osteonado devices. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can poison the MAC address table of a switch by generating traffic from an Osteonado node. In this topology, router 1 is configured with an IP address of 10.1.1.1. Router 2 has an IP address of 10.1.1.2 and router 1 can ping router 2. Show op shows us that the local router, router 1, has this IP address and this MAC address. Router 2 has this IP address and this MAC address. We can verify that by looking at the running config this is the IP address and MAC address of router 1. And this is the IP address and MAC address of router 2. So at the moment, router 2 is able to ping router 1. So the pings are succeeding. And if we look at the MAC address table of the switch, we can see that router 1 is connected to gigabit 02, which is correct per our GNS3 topology. And router 2 is connected to gigabit 03, which is true again per our topology. So the MAC address table has been populated with dynamic MAC addresses. This layer 2 switch has learnt where router 1 and router 2 are in the topology. And the MAC address table is populated accordingly with those MAC addresses. Now, however, we're going to mess with the network. System overload. So what I'll do here is start up Osteonado. And on the first interface of the port group, I'm going to create a new stream. And I'm going to call this GNS3 hack, hack 1. Double click on the cog. And let's forge a packet. So it's going to be Ethernet 2. In this case, it's going to be IP version 4. I'm going to create an ICMP packet. The destination MAC address is going to be router 2. The source MAC address is going to be router 1. So I'm going to be using the router's MAC addresses as the source and destination of this packet. It'll be an Ethernet 2 frame. Source IP address is going to be 10.1.1.1. Destination is going to be 10.1.1.2. So I'm forging a packet from router 1. That's an ICMP packet. So the source IP address is router 1. It's an ICMP echo. We'll leave the payload at the default value. This is what the packet looks like. Source destination. It's IP version 4. It's ICMP, which we can see over here. Type is 8. In other words, ICMP echo request. So in router 2, we can ping router 1. But notice what happens when we change the packet stream to, let's say, 100,000 packets sent at 0 0.0001 seconds. Click OK. We have to apply this configuration Click port 1, click play. Notice what happens now when router 2 tries to ping router 1. The pings are failing. So show MAC address table. Notice it looks like router 1 is connected to gigabit 00, when in actual fact it's connected to gigabit 02. Router 1 is connected to gigabit 02 but we have now messed with the MAC address table of the switch to make it believe that router 1 is connected to gigabit 00. Now, because this is running in GNS3, 
the number of packets sent in a second may be limited. But notice now, router 2 is not able to ping router 1. Is router 1 able to ping router 2? Yes, it can. But when we go back to the MAC address table, it's now been updated, but has changed back to gigabit 00. If you had a hardware device sending the number of packets that I've specified here at the low delay that we specified, this would update a lot quicker, but it's limited in our GNS3 topology. Notice that the pings succeed and then they stop succeeding because the MAC address table of the switch has been poisoned. Again, if you had a hardware device generating a huge number of frames, you would very quickly poison the network and stop devices sending traffic to one another. But the result here is the same. MAC address table is poisoned. Router 2 is no longer able to ping router 1. So that's an example of how to use Ostianado to poison the MAC address tables of switches and affect how traffic is sent through the network. MAC address tables here have been poisoned effectively by the traffic sent by Ostianado. We can see the traffic sent on that link. So you can see all of these echo requests sent by the Ostianado node causing trouble on the network. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.